Good morning everyone. It's uh, Wednesday, November 5th. I'm out doing some detecting in one of my favorite little parks and I just had a 1242 signal about 8 inches deep and I dug up a uh, nice green wheat. So on to the next hole. This one was a 1944. Just dug another wheat scent. Uh, real nice condition. 1938. Real, real pretty. The front side's good, and I'll flip it over. The back is real nice too. So, see what else I can find. Well, I'm working this hill, um, going up and down instead of from side to side. It's a little more work, but I figure if it's more work, maybe less people are doing it. So I hit a higher tone, uh, ranging 1244 to 1245. Um, and I had to dig through this root system. You can see this big old root right there. But I had this little narrow digger, so that really helps to get in between. I don't know if any of you have ever used uh, this particular tool, but it's great in the root systems. Anyways, when I flipped the dirt out, I could see there's some silver in the plug. And it looks like it's probably a dime size. And it is... And it is a really, oh sorry, a really stained Roosevelt dime. Isn't that something? Back side looks really good. Front side is stained. Let me see if I can get a date. Oops, sorry. Uh, all I can see without brushing it off anymore is, I think it's a 57. So, got a silver. I'm going to keep digging. Maybe there's another one out here for me. Well, I just dug this target. I had a, um, it had a higher tone, and the uh, numbers were like 1140, 1240. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm probably going to dig myself a wheat penny. But I pulled up this dime. It's a Canadian dime, and I believe that it's 1974. Now, I don't know much about the Canadian currency, but. I gotta believe this is silver. It's as shiny as can be the way it came out of the hole. And when you look at the um, the rim, I mean, it doesn't have any copper or nothing. It's, it's shiny. So uh, when I get home, I'll have to check it out and see if I got myself a uh, silver Canadian dime. I think I do. Hey everyone, just had a higher tone signal about uh, oh, maybe eight inches deep, and I pulled myself up a rosy, and it looks like 1952. Well, I'm walking, <clears throat> working along the waterfront, and I had a high tone, a uh, bunch of rocks, but uh, pulled it out, and I, I got myself a Roosevelt dime. I think it's a 1950 or 59. So I'm gonna see if I can't pick up another. Holy crap! I'm having a good day. Uh, I just had a 1240 signal and the tone was higher and I've had some wheats hit at that so I it's about six inches deep so I dug it and you'll be able to see there's my hole and then my dirt when I flipped it over there's my silver dime and I believe it it is a rosy oh excuse me it's an old Merc I can't uh, see the date on it that's probably why I was hitting funny numbers it's so uh, wore out but uh wow is this thing thin let me try to check it out and i'll see what the date is. well the best i can see i believe it is a 1916 i flipped it over and you can just see how worn the back is i can't see a mint mark but i'll take a better look when i get home what a great find for me
Well, I'm going to try this. I had a, I got a 1246, about six, seven inches deep. So I'm going to do a live dig and we'll see if I can recover it easily. And hopefully it's the silver. It's tough. I got my bigger shovel. Let's see if I can find it. Well, I believe that might be it. Let's we'll see. Oh yeah, she's got a good vibration now. Well, it's in my hand, whatever it is. How about a nice old big clad quarter? Well, we tried. Maybe on the next one. Good morning, everyone. I'm uh, going to do my post hunt wrap up. I uh, got a towel spread out on the bed because I got such good light in here. So uh, I'll show you what I found. First of all, the uh, 74 Canadian dime that I was all excited about. Um, upon further research, no, it's not silver. I did get some clad quarters, some dimes, uh, pennies again. I did get a ring, and it rang up high. I thought I had a silver ring, but clearly it's not silver. I haven't cleaned the inside because it's bent up a little bit, but I'm sure that it's not. I did score 13 wheat cents. You can see I dinged one, and the oldest one that I could see without cleaning them uh, is this one is a 1938. I think the rest are all basically 40s and 50s. I did have four good finds. I got four silver dimes, three Roosevelts, and a Merc, and the Rosies are. You can see a 52, 53, tarnished, I'm going to leave it just like that, 59, and the star is this 1916 Mercury Head Dime. It is really, really thin, and I looked and looked and looked and looked. I didn't see a D-mint mark anywhere. If there, were, if there were one, it would have been worn off anyways. So I'm glad to have the 16 anyways. And all in all, pretty successful hunt. So I'm going to hopefully get out there this weekend, although it looks like here in Michigan we've got some rain coming. So uh, get out there, everyone, and I look forward to seeing your videos. Happy hunting.